Behold this year's pizza roll promotion. Last year, Totino's conspired with Shadow of War, and this year, they're going all in with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Because if you want to level up quick and get your hands on exclusive gear, you're going to need to buy a shitload of pizza rolls. Assassin's Creed Odyssey has half a dozen special editions, including a so-called Ultimate Edition, but that's not going to be enough if you want the full range of advantages. The more pizza rolls you buy, the more shit you will get in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Alongside XP boosts, you will also get your hands on exclusive weapons. You buy one pack, you get an XP boost. You buy a second pack of those tasty, tasty pizza rolls, you'll get the Horn of Ares Sickle Sword. Get a third pack, you'll get the Bighorn Bow. And the rest of them, up to 12 purchases, will get you more XP boosts. So if you want some extra gear and the ability to level up quickly, you're going to need to buy 12 separate Totino's products. As if that wasn't enough, as if the corporate hand jobbing wasn't going around enough for you, Walmart is in on the action as well. If you buy the Totino's products at Walmart, you will also get the exclusive Ram Axe Heavy Weapon, which you can only get at Walmart and only if you buy a 120 pack of pizza rolls. Selling half a dozen special editions isn't enough for Ubisoft and it won't be enough to get everything, even in the Ultimate Edition. Once again, Ubisoft doesn't know what the word Ultimate means. It's sub-Ultimate. You can't get everything. You need pizza rolls. <laughs> Tell me again how game publishers, big AAA game publishers, can't afford to make video games. How they can't afford them without microtransactions and excessive DLC and their multiple special editions and their season passes and their loot boxes and their etc etc etc. As well as all of the price gouging and exploitation, they go in on these stupid fucking promotional events that rake them even more money as companies just snowball cash between each other. By all means, Ubisoft, hawk pizza rolls to people, but I don't want to hear it when people tell me that companies can't afford, can't afford to make video games, aka the thing they're in the video game business to make. Not when, as well as the base price and all of those other monetization methods I mentioned, they're advertising products. Be it soft drinks or fast food or cars in some case, these companies are making money on top of everything else by advertising other companies' shit. And on top of the content they squirrel away for pre-order bonuses and DLC and season passes, they squirrel content away for Totino's now as well. I mean, why don't we just cut out the middle person here and start selling Totino's pizza rolls inside special editions of Assassin's Creed? Those shitty plastic statues that come in collector's editions, start making them out of pizza roll crusts. Or have it so you can screw their heads off the statues to swill down some delicious Code Red Mountain Dew. Whatever you do, don't call your special editions ultimate editions when they're literally not ultimate. Don't call anything an ultimate ultimate edition if there's other DLC to be gotten. At best, it's a reckless misuse of the word ultimate, and at worst, it's blatant false fucking advertising. Then again, Assassin's Creed Odyssey has editions more expensive than the ultimate edition, meaning there are ultimate editions, but that's par for the course with Ubisoft. A company that mutilates language about as much as it mutilates the concept of a simple business transaction. This is on top of the news that they're bringing out an Assassin's Creed Amazon Echo, shaped sort of like a helmet in this mangled way. Just in case any of you might be worried that Assassin's Creed won't make enough cash, won't make all of the cash that is conceivable in the world. We got Totino's and we've got an Alexios. <laughs> Fucking hell. None of it's enough. None of it's enough. So just to give you a brief and not at all comprehensive rundown of everything Assassin's Creed Odyssey is flogging, you got your Standard Edition, your Deluxe Edition, your Gold Edition, your Ultimate Edition, your Medusa Edition, your Spartan Edition, your Pantheon Edition. Oh, that's three more editions more Ultimate than the Ultimate Edition. You've got an exclusive Totino's deal, you've got an exclusive Walmart with Totino's deal, you've got an Amazon Echo, you've got merchandise, by the way, they've already got Assassin's Creed Odyssey merchandise, 
merchandise on their store, and that's on top of separately selling your DLC and your season pass and all that bollocks. So tell me again how video games are too expensive to make and how game publishers are poor. And Ubisoft does this with every single game now, almost. Any single game, at least on the AAA level, has to have spreadsheets attached so you know what's in which special edition. It'll have its tie-ins, it'll have its opulent, opulent offerings when it comes to physical collector's editions. And fine, that's their right to do it, but I mean, it's just excess. It's pure, unbridled, decadent excess. I'm surprised the bottom hasn't fallen out of it already. This is overwhelming saturation. This is sale by confusion. Totino's, however, knows which side of the pie is sourced because they're doing pretty much exactly what they did last year with Warner Brothers and Shadow of War. There's a website up where they're doing the whole Xbox giveaway as well. And that's the game industry for you now, a shameless front for Mountain Dew and Doritos and Totinos, raking in inconceivable amounts of cash from product placement while raking in inconceivable amounts of cash from you and telling us an inconceivable amount of times that they're overly generous, not charging enough, not making enough cash and can't afford to stay in business, even though they've been doing pretty well forever. To be honest, I prefer it when Tim and Eric do pizza rolls commercials. At least they're not locking exclusive content behind it.